Johnson. The Super 14 competition began this year in the second week of February. And here we are three and a half months later with two sides remaining as we stand by for the 2009 grand final, the Bulls against the Chiefs. Loftus first felt in Pretoria. It's an imposing place for any visiting sides. So much so that this season the Bulls haven't been beaten here in eight starts. The Chiefs were here in round 11, and on that occasion on Anzac Day back home, they lost by just six points with both sides scoring three tries. Well, let's have a look at the uh, Chiefs side, and uh, the big change in the Chiefs side from last week's semi final in Hamilton is the return of Richard Kahui, of course, at centre. Kahui missed the last two games, but his presence in midfield will be a real boost for the Chiefs. Dwayne Sweeney stays in the starting 15 because of the injury to Sidibini Sibibatu, and he moves from centre to the left wing. The Packers the same as the one that started against the Hurricanes last week. And, of course, Mills Muliaina is the captain. Well, let's have a look at the Bulls. And like the Chiefs, the Bulls are able to welcome back an influential back in the form of Vane and Olafia. The midfield has been outstanding throughout the season, but he missed last week's semi against the Crusaders. The strike power all over the park in this team. And that includes the pack, where number eight Pierre Spies was incredible last week, particularly with uh, the ball in hand. And uh, Victor Matfield, of course, captains the Bulls. So here come the Chiefs. Well, the expected welcome. There is such a key man, Mills Muliaina, for the Chiefs. What a fantastic season he has been having. Stephen Donald is a man they'll be looking to tonight to continue his uh, very good form, and Siani Lawaki as well. It needs an 80-minute performance from the big number eight forward, and he'll be well aware of that as well. And they just look as though they're enjoying being amongst this a big hostile crowd here in Pretoria. Well, that is just simply unbelievable. As uh, the Bulls came on in front of 55,000. Well, there's a familiar tune. I've heard this one in Hamilton before. Richard Kahui. Good to see him back on the Chiefs' side tonight. The 2009 Super 14 final is underway. The Bulls against the Chiefs. And it's been mistimed by the Chiefs as they left high. And it was knocked on, though, by the Bulls coming through. And so an untidy start. But they do get the put into the scrum, the Chiefs. Out of DeMelmonch. Craig Clark off the top nicely. Away for Morland. Now Donald. Bruce takes it as far as the 10 metre line. Morland getting quickly in position. Donald. Another one for Kirshner, but again, no one really there to challenge. And Kirshner has time to get the kick away. Donald lines it up. Looking comfortable. Decides to try and get away from Kirshner. And shows good pace too. Now can he link up? He does so. And here's a real opportunity. And uh, Lelia Masanga is going to score the first try in the final. And that's one way to put the crowd to, to sleep quietly. Lelia Masanga gets the opening try. Well, Stephen Donald, take a bow. Was the high kick. He fielded himself. He beat Kirshner. Quite easy, actually, on the outside. A little bit of stumble. And then he opened it up. And a beautiful pass to Masanga who was away. Have a look at this here. He saw his opposite number, or Kirsten, the fullback, beat him on the outside and waited, drew the last defender, his Habana, and away went Marsanga. What a great start. Well, they're talking about Zane Kirshner being the next Springbok fullback, but the selectors won't have been at all impressed with his attempt to make that tackle. Went for the ankle tap, but what a brilliant start. They defended so well. Now they've got the first points. Different atmosphere here now. Yes, it is indeed. The conversion is made by Stephen Donald. And that's the best possible start because it really was the first attacking opportunity that the Chiefs had. Let's have another look at it. He gets away from Kirshner, who tried to clip the ankles, and there wasn't much there in terms of the Bulls. Matfield made it a sparing dive, but uh, Lelia Masanga, who was uh, last season's top try scorer with eight, 
goes in and scores the opening try of the final. Stain down as far as Lowaki. He's got time. Goes smack into uh, Kirshner and fired it back in field. That was a wild pass and an unnecessary pass too. And it's given possession away. It's with uh, Derek Kuhn now. And uh, the Bulls in a good attacking area as they swing it across. Alafia. Here's Kirshner. And the big fullback. It's five metres short. Referee's got the arm out as the Chiefs endeavour to slow it down. And they succeeded in doing so. And the Bulls, well, they might set a scrum. No, no, they don't. Dupriya takes it himself. Furry Dupriya. Well, what a difference in the crowd. Just look at this crowd. They are going wild. They were silent a couple of minutes ago. Well, it all came from Luaki. He fielded the ball. Exposed himself, ran across, and then when he was getting forced to touch, he flicked it inland. And this is the result of it. Pressure right on the Chiefs. Real pressure here. Desperate defence. Held up. And then that wonderful scrum half spotted a moment, ran between the two locks. The halfback between two locks. Yeah. And breaking the line. Not sure. Not sure that's so good. Mono Stain. So the Bulls hit straight back. And in many ways, the Chiefs had themselves to blame for that try. So seven all. Well, in fact, Donald was there, tried to make the tackle, but he's strong, low to the ground. And Furu Dupriya scores the first try. Jubilation on the bench, seven each. Donalds, Undungani waits. Stain, oh, they're getting themselves into trouble here. Finally, it went back to Dupriya. And there looked to be indecision amongst the Bulls players about who was going to kick it. Finally, they got it away, though. Just one early thing that the Chiefs are going to have to sort out is their receptions at kickoff. The first one from the opening kickoff of the game was really untidy, and then the second one where Lauaki ran, but then ran away from his support. And, well, you saw what happened. To Melmonch. Tipped, uh, tipped on the blues, uh, bull side, sorry, and uh, here's Stain. Bangs it away. Loping back after this is Dwayne Sweeney. Having a look at Ndungani, got away nicely from him. Good run here, Dwayne Sweeney. Still standing. And now they take him, didn't make a lot of ground, but uh, certainly dragged the defence across. Now Moreland gets the call. Here's Donald. Chance on this side for De Melmonch. The hooker busting through one tackle and lost the ball. Now it's been snapped up by Stain. Here's the three. The little halfback's going to get another one. Wonderful try, De Prea. He's on the spot, isn't he? Turn of pace, acceleration, and finished. Well, Demel Marsh lost the ball in a very heavy tackle. In fact, he's still down. Hasn't moved at all. And the space was there. And the opportunism. The eye for the gap. Look at this. He's all over. Oh, gee, the head on the ground. That's a nasty knock. And the pass came from Mornay Stain, and suddenly Dupria had nobody in front of him. So yeah, there's a real concern, Tony, for yeah. Alan DeMelmont. Well, they've gone out there. They have actually moved him. They rolled him onto his back, and uh, I can see here that uh, he's definitely moving. He, I, I would say that he is conscious, but immediate concern. And as you saw, his head hit the ground very hard. Well, he's had a huge season. He lived to not much. Wonderful. Well, he's getting back to his feet. But I don't know that he's going to be in a very good condition. I don't think he'll be in any state to carry on. Here's Stain's kick. It's another two. 14 points to seven. And we've only had 13 minutes in the final. And uh, there continues to be some concern. He got 
flick, a flick to the ground by Dion Stickman. And suddenly it opened up for Furi Dupria. Mills Muliaina, despairing dive. And we're all having a look at uh, De Belmont. I've got the feeling that well, he may be off the park. He's going to come off for a blood bin, which uh, might give him time to clear the head. And that'll mean Hicker Elliott on in 16. But after a great start, the worst possible thing has happened to the Chiefs. The Bulls have got onto the front foot, and they are just so hard to stop when they do that. Well, the Melmarch, he's a tough character. He's played with unbelievable physicality this year. Not long in the number, number two jersey. And he really has adapted to the demands and grown as the Super 14 has moved on. OK, underway again as uh, Donald makes the kick. Claimed by Matfield. The blonde-headed pot-eater. Back from Dupria. Two tries already. The kick from Stain. He's dragged it down the middle of the park. And now Muliaina. Donald will lead the charge after this. Dupria waits. And he's doing everything at the moment. Lays it back nicely for Brian Habana. Stain kick, so it's uh, very low. He didn't time it all well. Now, whether it hit a Chiefs player, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I don't think it did. No. He just hit it on the top of the ball. The Chiefs content to kick it back. So Hicker Elliott thrust into the battle after just 14 minutes. First throws a good one off the top from Messam. And here come the Chiefs with Loaki out of midfield. Throws the pass. One or two dummy runners. Now Molly Aina. Bit of space for Sweeney, but it uh, closed in smartly. But he looks good and strong, Dwayne Sweeney. As uh, it comes now for Moreland. Off for Donald. Masanga in midfield. Bulls defence closing them down. Now Tanara Latimer. Looking for a turnover. I reckon they've got it too, yep. So Dupria gets it wide. Now Matfield. Again, it's uh, Dupria. Habana! He'll be too quick. Well, it's a feast. The Bulls are hungry tonight. And they're finishing. Brian Havana, when he gets out in the open, nobody catches him. They were thin on the short side. The Chiefs. Two outside backs versus a prop. And I think it was Stephen Donald, the second player. Let's have a little look. Well, it was turned over by Latimer. He took it in. Balls attacked from the turnover. Yes, he had a bit too much space, Brian Amana. And he knew with 20 metres to go, he was always going to make it. Great piece of work at the breakdown by Dion Stickman, the loose forward. Maybe uh, a sacrifice he's made because he's actually down receiving some attention and it looks like he has damaged his ankle and he may not be fit to continue. The word from the bench is that Alan de Malmont's definitely a blood bin. He must be pretty tough because he's been walking around. He may yet come back. Well, you speak about Stickman. I thought he was outstanding last week. And he's obviously got an ankle issue. And the conversion is good. Bulls still in possession. 18 minutes gone in the final. Three tries to one. All converted. 21 points to seven. Habana. No. Dupria for Stain. Again, this enormous punt is fielded inside his 22, but Mills Muliana decides to bring it out. Stain waits. Muliana runs into Habana, but Stain takes a tackle, snapped up nicely by the Chiefs. Now a kick through here by Alafia. 
game being played at high speed just on the bull side of halfway Donald again rips it across here's an opportunity for Kahui saw the gap inside pass Olafia just got his hand in the road and denied Callum Bruce and the Bulls have possession again as Olafia gets his pass back Stain's going to kick again and uh, the Bulls at least the Chiefs will have to build from the back again as Masunga runs it up all the way to the 10 metre line Morland gets the call from Kahui bursting up the centre Kahui needs to get the pass off ball and couldn't hang on to it had he done so the Chiefs would have got their second try and the Bulls are going to survive this as Dupria gets it deep back to Stain and he hurriedly bangs it towards the touchline. But, oh, the pace of this game is incredible. Well, isn't it fantastic? So close, though. Two occasions, the Chiefs, with an ounce of luck, would have scored. Kahui is a beautiful inside pass. Kaplan got taken out. Good tackle. And he's lost his feet. Beat the fullback. Have a look at this. Beat Kirshner. And then lost his feet. And the pass was just intercepted. Someone just getting a finger to it. And Le stopped Cullen Bruce scoring under the, under the dot. It's Liam Messam wearing 23. Nisbo obviously had to change his jersey for some blood or something. Thanks, TJ. Yeah, I saw 23 get it. I thought, what's going on here? So, Hicker Elliott. Messam looks to tap it. Oh, it's going straight to uh, Pop Gita. And uh, this time the free kick against the Chiefs. It's a great tackle by Yako Pretorius on Jonathan Kaplan, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. All in all. Now the high kick from Stain. Muli Aina just out from his 22. Nobody got a hand on it. Finally it's been grabbed by Werner Kruger. And Dupria. Strong charge by Matfield. Now Olafia just drifting across field a wee bit. Well contained by the Chiefs. Too slow. Ten. Too slow. Drop kick. Here we go. Here we go. Well, he just doesn't miss, does he? Mornay Stain, four last week. And that's his first for the night. And I say that's his first because I wouldn't be surprised if he has another go. Very high success ratio. Sitting there waiting. Well, straight down the middle. Well, Chiefs need to score. Otherwise, they'll get left behind in this game. Donald's kickoff. Matfield calls. Still standing in the tackle, Matfield. He did that very easily. Now in Dungani. Steps away from Sweeney, and here they come from inside their own 22. Indangani nicely tackled by Toby Morland. Stay on, stay on. The Chiefs Six looking seconds. for the turnover. I don't know whether it's there for them, though. Dupria can see it. Let it come. Let it come. Now Stain. Muli Aina, one or two of the Chiefs dropping back in support. Decides to go himself. Runs it straight at uh, Derek Kuhn, the hooker. Shuts him down. Another turnover ball coming by the looks of things. Chiefs desperately trying to get it back on their side. It was on the full side for a moment. Yeah, they, lo they lo knocked it on this boat. They've been a bit, a bit lucky, and now they've got the penalty. Hicker Elliott with... 16 minutes remaining till half time. 24 points to seven. Again, it's been tipped by Borta. Still could work for the Chiefs, though. It's fielded by Latimer. And it's a knock on. In fact, looking at the last four lineouts, the Chiefs have, and the, on their throw, the Chiefs have lost three of them. Mighty combination Borta and Matfield. They study their opponents, the throws. And by half-time, they normally have the opposition sussed. Well, 
It's a long way from half time, only 24 minutes gone. Rocks. Touch Boston. <laughs> one and he's got Tamalola here for not binding. It's just a free kick. Stain has Muliaina scampering across, beautifully done. Anticipated well. And he gets the pass back on the inside for Kahui. Fires a loose one. Elliott snaps it up. Now big Kevin O'Neill almost to the halfway line. Good driving tackle on him, but he's done well to lay it back. Now Lawaki. McGugan. Taken by Borta. Elliott now runs straight into Spice. Big defence from the Bulls. As Moreland whips it across to Donald. Callum Bruce just on the ball side of halfway. As Moreland spins. Lowaki had to wait. They know the danger that he presents. And it has to be a free kick as it was slowed down. Now looking to work some magic out wide as Masaga. And then he got the first try. A good tackle on the fear. Habana heads away, but no advantage there, and it will be a free kick here to the Chiefs. Well, I hope they keep the ball in hand. Although, I will say, the Bulls' defence looks awesome, doesn't it? Absolutely committed on the front foot. It's offensive defence. That's the second. I think in that move there were three very heavy tackles. And I'm sure for the Chiefs to win this game... They need to find some way around that defence. Look at the expressions on the bench. They tell a story. And the crowd is singing. So Toby Morland. Good attacking opportunity, Lawaki. Gets it wide, but again the defence is good. This time it was Dupria. All the way! All the way, 15. Mm. Habana. The way goes Brian Habana. Oh, beautifully picked up by Kuhn. And the hooker is inside the 22. Dragged down by Latimer. But danger time again here for the Chiefs. Trying to step his way through was... Uh, Danny Rousseau. Seven, hold it. Dupria. Stain. Spice. Three or four of them having to hang on to him. Dupria again. Rousseau gets it up high. Chiefs looking to trap it in there. Good defence on Undum Gani. But the onslaught keeps coming. Oh, this time he makes a bit of a mess of it, but uh, a Chiefs hand got in there. It's a penalty. Deliberate. Interference with the halfback. Deliberate interference with the halfback, and it's right under the posts. Well, they just bombed a try. They'd ignored about a three-man overlap the ball, so three points is probably not a bad result for the Chiefs here. Well, this has just been an onslaught as uh, Mornay Stain... Converts the penalty into three points. 27 points to seven with 11 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Keep the gap. 27 to seven. Kuhn. Got it back as it was tipped forward by Pockita. Challenge and uh, charged by Tamalolo, nicely grabbed by O'Neill. Spice in there disputing possession, but O'Neill has laid it back. A final shot at it here for the Chiefs as uh, they get it across the line. They've got numbers too, they need to straighten it. Kahui, good tackle by Olafia. Kahui got it back. And they're going to work the blind side with Elliott. Fierce defence though. Now Donald moves it across to Masanga, trying to get away from Kuhn. He's got him, though. 
They're all making tackles in midfield, the Bulls. Yes, even the hookers on wings. Morland for Miliaina. Bruce. Morland again. Now Lewaki. Ridden down on a good tackle, but it took a couple to get him, and the, could it open it up for somebody else? As uh, Liam Messam in 23 oh. Oh. takes it up. They're still 15 out from the 22. Out, moved on quickly by O'Neill to Sweeney, but everyone's standing still. Now Morland again for Donald. Lauaki, now they're running onto him. Quick hit! Interception by Brian Abana. You have to compliment, compliment the man. When you pull off intercepts week after week after week, it means you've got great anticipation. It also means the timing of the charge onto the ball is very shrewd. And have a look at this. He spotted it, saw it coming in advance, captured by camera. He came in on an angle, and at the last moment, he he sprinted onto the ball and took it cleanly. There was nothing fortuitous about that. Utterly brilliant anticipation, but the defence of the Bulls has been outstanding. The Chiefs have been trying to create mismatches by switching play, but they've had wingers running against hookers and hookers making the tackles, and that defence was such a contributor to that tackle, that try. So the conversion has been made. Brian Aban has picked up two tries in the first half. So has Furry Dupria. And at halftime in the 2009 Super 14 final, a big lead for the Bulls, 34 points to seven. So Jonathan Kaplan about to blow the whistle. Second half is underway. Stephen Donald goes with a short kick, and it's been claimed by DeWald Pokita for the Bulls, and they have possession early in the second half. I'm sure... Ian Foster has talked about being the team that scores next. They need a little momentum here, and they've got a free kick, which gives them a start as Messam takes it across uh, Talmalolo. At least it's uh, Elliot, lays it back. Now Morland, this is Talmalolo, finds himself in a big gap, gets rid of Habana. Good, strong run by the prop forward on the 22, and now the ball's been turned over, and uh, it's probably been lost forward, so the referee will play advantage. Habana. Gets it wide for uh, Steenkamp and the big prop. Laying it back here for Furu Dupria, one of the star players in the first half. In fact, he scored the first two tries. Long kick from Stain. Kahui lines it up. Leave him. Heaves it high. Muliaina is onside and charging through. Nicely done by Stain, but they got to him too and walked over the top of it. Chiefs. And, uh, yep, they had the numbers there. An incorrect entry from the Bulls. It's been taken. Now Lauaki. Lauaki almost to the 22. No attempt at the penalty goal, and why would they? And now they've turned it over. Free kick to the Bulls. Long kick from Dupria. Messam going back after it. Looking for a better kicker and finds it in the form of Muliaina. And that uh, will take play down, still in Chiefs territory. Bulls keep the pressure on. Tipped by Matfield. Falls nicely for Dupria. Stain has a go at the line. Taken away by Lauaki. He slips the pass for McGugan. Got away from PS Beast. Good run, James McGugan. Backwards. He's been a standout player. Morland needs a bit of help in there, and he's got it from uh, Tamalolo, wrestling it back. Looks like Callum Bruce will have to go in there at halfback. Here's Latimer, though. Shoves his way out of uh, Matfield, and away goes Tanara Latimer. He's got no support, though. Now they arrive. Five metres in the Bulls' uh, territory. Morland. Away it goes to Donald. Elliott. Hicker Elliott shoves one out of the road. Still playing with plenty of heart. Need to crack a try, though, early on. Masanga. Masanga pushing a banner away. 
Ball starting to fall off a few tackles here as uh, Toby Morland looks for a runner, finds Tamalolo. Here he goes again. Once more, takes three to put him away. And uh, this is building up nicely here for the Chiefs. The impasse held on to by Mills for the Aina. That's just the start they wanted in the second half. That's exactly what they wanted. Well, good sustained attack, putting it through the phases. Now, we didn't see that in the first half. The Chiefs holding it for nine on that occasion. Eventually, Muli Aina under the sticks. Well, there's some great play by a couple of tight forwards amongst that. Elliot, I think, was one. Who was the second one? It was Tom Lola. Yep. Yes. Well, he beat Kirsten with ease. So that will make them feel a little bit better. They'll get a sniff of it. <laughs> well, he juggled around. I think it looked more risque than it actually was. I think he had it pretty much under control. Well, maybe the key to that try was that some of the forwards getting a little bit angry. That's what they needed. And we saw plenty of anger there from the likes of McGugan, De, uh, Taumalolo and Elliott fending off players and uh, creating the, the momentum that they needed to set up that try. Yes, you're correct. It was go-forward ball, wasn't it, Tony? Stain with the conversion having been made. or oh, dropped by Morland. He got out of it, though. And now he needs some support. He finds Lawaki. Taking a bit to put him away. Bulls tackling not as assured in the second half as it has been. Here's Stephen Donald. Moves it on for Kahui. And he's held up, but he slipped the pass to Moreland. He did well to get it off to Mills Muliaina. Sees a gap up the middle. Scraps his way up almost to the 10-metre line. And uh, time out here. Uh, what's the problem? Time out, I've got a flag. He's got a flag. Got a flag. So... He's going across to the far side. Oh, this is Corpus Vessels. Hey, Jason, the kick three wide stepped in front of him, which holded him off. Okay, where's the mark? Thank you. And just the penalty? Yes. Tell me about that one, Tony. Got no idea, Murray. This is the... I think McGugan seems to think uh, he's been caught here. They're going for the posts. He called obstruction, I think. Yeah, well. he said that McGugan stepped in front of one of the Bulls players and took him out, maybe prevented him from making a tackle. Wouldn't mind a replay just to see exactly what was going on, but uh, we have no control over that. Let's have a look. Here's James McGugan, there he is. And oh, you're kidding. Oh, oh that is sake. absolutely absurd, isn't it? Well, this, he's the bloke that kept coming on the field at Croke Park last year in Dublin, you might remember. Oh, is that the same, same guy? Same bloke, yeah. Oh, gee, that was he wanted to be part of the action, Tony. Here's the kick from Mornay Stain. And it's going to cost the Chiefs three points. So Stain goes up to 17 points in the match he'll be threatening joe roth's finals record shortly and it's 37 to 14. trying to get the attention of the referee but play's going to continue once again the bulls tap now Dupria. donald slowly up he's okay now the attack coming wide kershner lovely tackle it was made by Richard Kahui, who rolls away, doesn't look too flash. He's getting up, you can see him across on the far side. Here's a go by Matt Field. He likes it. Crowd on the far side likes it. Now we've got to find out whether Johan Muirson likes it. Well, he's smiling. I think that's a sign. Well, everybody here loves that. He is their leader, and the team is successful under Matfield. Look at this. Picks up the ball, sees the moment. That's a try all day long.
absolutely. Good idea. Oh, was that off the ground? Jonathan? Yeah. No reason why you cannot award the try. So the try has been given. Victor Matfield. And into the 40s go the Bulls. So here's Mornay Stain. Off the post it goes. Free kick. Again, Dupria takes it quickly, wants some inside support. He gets it in the form of Rousseau. Now Dupria, Stain off here. Well, he was, was good play on the field, and you can see the line was stretched. Just the inch, big enough to get, and he plucked it, he went for it. And he thought he'd get over of the tackle and he did exactly that. That's fine judgment. Well, 47 is the top score in a final, and it remains that way at the moment. 47 to 17. If they're awake. Now Donald to Elliot. I think that two minutes sets off. <laughs> you reckon? Now here's Kahui. Nice touch again. Delaney. Running straight into Adams. Lynn. Moreland again. Oh, he threw it straight at uh, Victor Matfield. Oh, it's oh, it's peace, peace. And, and, yep. Yeah. The crowd have been waiting for that. He's one of the many heroes here. I sort of expect that sort of try from Pierre Space. He's a real athlete. And number eight, with the speed of a wing. 11 seconds flat, I believe, over 100. I thought Anisi might catch him, actually. Well, he's one of the quickest men in South African rugby. You'd have to be very quick. Sosini Anisi, we know how fast he is. Brings up 50 points. First time in a final that has happened. Well, too good, weren't they? I'm talking his arts full time and there's still seven minutes to go. But the Bulls have dominated the game. They've dominated the lineouts. Five against the throw. That's five on, on the Chiefs' throw. Scrums have been fairly square, I will say. Chiefs have put it in more times than the Bulls. The breakdown has been dominated by the Bulls. The turnovers have been won in that area. Possession and territory favour the Bulls, and certainly the try tally. Seven of those. to 17. Well, he was just sort of waiting there, wasn't he? Of course, the Chiefs are desperate to spin the ball to find holes to score a try or two. That's been knocked on by the Bulls. And the pass thrown there by Toby Moreland, his last act of the game. David Basin on replacement halfback in number 20. Some pretty dejected figures on the Chiefs bench. Well, they've been trying. They've tried really hard to get back into it, but the harder they've tried, the worse it's got. Well, the damage was done in the first half, I'm afraid. And it was always catch-up since then. Yeah, and you play catch-up rugby, you're going to give them chances, aren't you, Murray? Well, the opposition start looking for 
good passes to be, you know, looking for the opportunity to intercept like species right then. Standing, you know, flat on the line. Now David Basin delivers his first pass off to Donald. Still having a go in midfield is Richard Kahu. He takes a few to put him down. Basin has got to stay blindside. They're inside the 22 by 10 metres. Five and a half minutes remaining in the final. Bulls are going to win it for the second time. Won it in 2007 away from home down in Durban. But in front of their adoring fans here today, they have been way too good. As uh, the Chiefs look to get something going here through Mike Delaney. Now Basin, nowhere to go though. And while they've scored seven tries, you do have to pay tribute to the Bulls' defence. Here's Messam going head on. Basin. Donald rips it across. Masanga did pretty well to get rid of Habana. Turn over there, I think. I know. Heine Adams gets himself offside and knocks it on at the same time. Now Donald chips a little kick through and chases. Trying to control it there was Burton Francis in 21. Yeah, Mornay Stain actually walked off the field after that last magnificent conversion, Nisbo. Give everybody a go, I suppose. Oh, why not? Everybody's had a go, I think, in the Chiefs, uh, Tony. Oh, yeah, they're all on now. Yep. In fact, uh, both benches have been cleared. Well, if you were the Bulls coach, you'd want to get everybody on to give them a taste of playing in a winning team. First time they've ever had the Super 14 final here. Second time they've been finalists only. And they've won both. Let's go again. Well, in the end, they were only one point ahead of uh, the Chiefs in grabbing top spot, but they did win the most games. And I think from that alone, they, they really did deserve to have it here. I agree with you, Tony. They, they only lost three games in this competition, Super 14, is a marvellous competition, because it, as was proven this year, any team can beat any team. And they lost three, which is a great effort through this. Every other team in the semis lost four. Another big scrum by the Bulls. They have scrummage well here today as well. Heine Adams. Francis makes the kick, and it's a long one, too. It's a beauty. And it's a long way back. Yep, the Mike Delaney. Muliaina. They'll uh, try and get something going from the back. Mills Muliaina takes the short route right up the middle and loses the ball. So it's been turned over. An opportunity here as the kick is made by Pretorius. The chases are coming. But Kahu is just a little bit too quick. Sure, that player's trying to rip the ball off him for he can't do much with it. It's Kirshner. So, what's he going to do with the ball if he gets it? Put his own scrum down. I don't think he knows the rules. I uh, just excited, I guess. He's been pretty good, hasn't he? I think this bloke as well, he's been a big improver in Dungani. He's become a complete winger. Yes, there aren't too many weaknesses across the board here. Haven't been beaten at home this season. It'll be very interesting to know what, well, not only the Lions, probably their uh, accompanying press troop maker this performance by the Bulls, considering it's going to have a big influence on the Springbok sele uh, selection. Adams makes some ground downfield. Mesa might have turned this one over, I think. No. Offside play. Oh, it's a bit late for a yellow, I think, Jonathan. The old uh, multiple blow on the whistle is never a happy sign. David Basin getting his foot up there. This would be the final indication, wouldn't it? Matt Field takes it. And a crack at the line.
but an absolutely conclusive victory. He's been a great servant to Bulls rugby too. And the girls look good, everything looks good here at this stadium tonight, if you're a Bulls supporter. So it was Matfield himself that threw the pass. A little bit of width. The big forward. The power to drive. Thrust that right arm over with the ball locked. So Burton Francis is the man. Now that Mornay Stain is on the sideline, he'll attempt the conversion here. Inside a minute, I wonder whether Jonathan Kaplan will blow the whistle at the end of this. 59 to 17. And the kick is high, and it is straight. 61 17. a good old-fashioned hammering. It's a record. Chiefs take it quickly, but they can't get the ball back as Pot Eater has it. There goes the siren, and this will be booted into the touch. And the 2009 final goes to the Bulls. Eight tries to two, comprehensive as you get it, 61-17. Well, it's been an outstanding performance by the Bulls right throughout the Super 14. They lost three on the road, and most teams do. But they were victorious in every game here at this stadium. Their supporters are a wonderful group of supporters. Fanatical, yes, but absolutely committed to their team. And they offer that extra edge. Here at altitude, it's so hard for visiting teams to win against a side that is so balanced across the board, so strong, so much strike power, so much power up front, so much ball winning ability. And today they were just too big and too strong. Ladies and gentlemen, the culmination of a wonderful season of rugby. Super 14 champions 2009. Uh, the Bulls, and if I could call up Victor Matfield to receive the trophy from the chairman of Sanza, Mr. Regan Hoskins. Victor Matfield and the Bulls. What a great night for the Bulls, worthy champions of Super 12 2009.